Hey everyone, welcome back to the How to Podcast series. I have someone who is amazing, okay? I'm just it. It's amazing. Uh, she has runs one of the best groups on Facebook. If you ever need a guest, then you need to go and follow the links to this group. Sign up today. All you podcasters out there who are looking for great guests, you need to go here now because I know it works and it's amazing. Angel's on the podcast. Angel, welcome to the How to Podcast series. It's so great to have you here. Oh my gosh, David, it's so great to be here. I loved our little banter before we turned on the microphone and hit record. Thank you so much for inviting me to be a guest on your show and for using the Need a Guest platform to find great guests. It is spectacular, like 34,000 people in this group. This is amazing. How long has this group been around? It's not very old. We started it in 2020. And it took a couple of years to get off the ground. But really, in the last 12 months, we have doubled in size. We were about 15,000 uh, subscribers about 13 months ago. And we have, we're, we're just about in like any moment now, we're going to cross over 34,000 subscribers in the group. It's amazing. Isn't that crazy? It is so crazy. Um, and before we hit record, I was mentioning to you how much I love your group. I have met some of the best people in the world on this page. Um, like me too. Well, yeah, I know. It's just like they're they're so kind, and the people that are on there are always encouraging, and people are asking questions. They're looking for this type of person for this type of podcast. It's such a great community. I just I love everything about it. Uh, for for you and for the group there, like what are some of the big things that stand out to you that you're like this is really working? Like this is really happening. We're seeing the success that we wanted for this group. What kind of things stand out for you? Well, great question. You know, this, the group started just as a whim for me, David. I had I have a background in broadcasting. I was a radio talk show host. I've done television, magazines. Um, I was a speaker teaching entrepreneurs how to do their own PR. But people were always coming to me, David, saying, I need a guest. Hey, Angel, I've got a show. I've got a stage. I've got a this. I need a guest who speaks on blank. And just because of my network, I could play matchmaker. I'm like, here, let me introduce you to David. David, be a great guest. He's a perfect fit for you. And so started this Facebook group as a way to bring people together because the requests were coming in faster than I could really respond to and more and bigger than, than I could really handle. So I started this Facebook group and I would have been happy if it had a thousand people in it. But it did. It took off, hit 10,000 people, and then it hit 15,000. And then it just, like every three weeks, we were crossing over a new milestone for, for a hot minute there and decided to really pay attention and focus on what was what made the group successful, um, what were people looking for, how do we make sure it's a safe place, incredibly valuable, engaging. And now today, as we cross over 34,000 subscribers and members in it, we have uh, community managers that help monitor the group, help guide um, the guests, right? So we only allow for two types of posts in the group, which was a big, big rule for us. Either I need a guest, somebody like you, mm -hmm. here's my show, here's what I'm looking for, or I want to be a guest and this is what I this is what I speak on. So super clean, super engaging. And yeah, I'm just so, I'm so proud of it. It's amazing. Okay, so give us some general good practices on need a guest for us to to have our post be seen and engaged with are we looking for hashtags in our post that call out need a guest or be a guest what kind of things are a good to do's when we make our first post on need a guest okay great great questions yes yeah, so um the exposure, right? I think we're all looking for more visibility to get our message out to to let people know we exist or our show exists. So what makes need a guest so valuable is if you want to be a guest or need a guest. So hashtag be a guest or hashtag need a guest. Those are great places to start. Not necessary. People will find you if you don't use the right hashtags. It's okay. But if you do a hashtag, this is a be a guest post. This is what I speak on. Um, this is my topic and a fun lifestyle picture, right? Showcasing you and in, in your element. If you if you share something about you, you connect. We're looking for humans, right? People want that that human touch. This is part of why I think podcasting is so is so exciting right now. Is because with all the technology and automation and all of that, people need that human connection more than ever. Yeah. And being able to listen to your voice on a podcast interview or see your face and have that expression 
I just think the human connection is so powerful. So hashtag be a guest, go introduce yourself. Tell us what you speak on. Tell us what you're passionate about. If I handed you a microphone and said without any preparation, right, what could you talk about for 20 minutes? Like stay in your space and share your stories. And then the second type of post that we allow is need a guest, right? I need a guest for my show. And here's one of the reasons, David, now you're one of my new BFFs is because you have multiple shows that you do. Yeah. And you broadcast definitely more than once a week. So if somebody comes in as a as a host and says, I do one episode a month, right? I need 10 to 12 guests over the course of the year. We're going to fill your calendar in 60 seconds, yeah. right? With incredible guests. So somebody who actually broadcasts at least weekly um, or multiple times or has multiple shows and you're looking for really quality guests, when you come in and do a great post inside of the group, you're going to get engagement. We Our engagement is off the charts. Um, great quality, great great guests, great leads, but you've got to be super clear on the kind of guests you're looking for because, yeah, we'll, we'll fill your calendar up pretty mm-hmm. quickly, which is why we're always on the hunt for new podcasters to join the group because we can fill your calendar. We can fill your calendar with guests pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. So what are some good guesting practices that you would say to someone who wants to be a guest? Based on your knowledge and all of the stuff you've done in the past, there's got to be some key things you'd say to somebody who says, I want to be a guest angel. What do I need to know? Well, for sure. So one of the big no-nos that I would first lead off with, David, is I see people say, I have an event I want to promote, or I have a, something I want to sell. I want to get booked on podcasts in order to do that. And to me, that's a big nay nay, right? It is, you're not there doing an infomercial. You didn't pay for advertising. It's not a sales pitch. It's a conversation. You're partnering with that podcast host, right? They need, they're looking to bring value to their audience. They're looking for somebody who's going to promote the show, who's going to make them look good, who's going to be professional, show up on time, show up prepared. I mean, truly, this is an exclusive honor to be a guest on somebody else's show. Like somebody has prepped and prepared and is doing all the back end work as a as a guest. It is our job to show up as a valuable partner for you. So number one, it's not a sales. It's not an opportunity to sell. You can, of course, encourage people to follow up with you and connect with you and lead them right to your opt in your, you know, wherever, wherever books are sold, right. Mm -hmm. And, and encourage them to go back and follow up with you and connect with you. But I think the number one thing is don't sell. So the flip side of that is, is share your story, right? Your stories are what make you unique. Your story is what sets you apart from anybody else who's doing what you're doing or gone through something that you've gone through. It is your, your personal story that people relate to, can connect to, that they'll find, um, you know, they'll build rapport and familiarity, encouragement, hope, right? That you've been through some stuff and now you, you've come out the other side. So I think that as a as a guest, I tell people I'm an expert guest, right? That's my, and my profession is guest expert or, you know, interview guest. But I take it, I take it very seriously. Yeah. Um, and I really want to, I really want to show up and and do the best I can for that podcast host whenever I whenever I come to a show. Nice. Um, when I have um, guests on, I do a pre-interview with everybody that I meet. So generally, I spend two hours with everybody, an hour roughly in pre-interview, and then an hour of recording. And there's like a couple weeks in between gap. Normally, that's how I do my show. So I've met with everybody ahead of time. So when I do, when I say that I've make time for to record a podcast, I'm actually doing twice the amount of work with my guest. So the one thing that I'm really struggling with, sometimes it happens, not often, but sometimes it happens where because I work nights, I do this during the daytime. So I'm giving up my sleep technically to do this because normally I would be sleeping because I have to go to work tonight. So I work from 11 p.m. till seven in the morning. So that's my shift. And I do that five nights a week. So when I do my schedule, and book in time to have somebody come and meet with me, I'm sitting here waiting. Again, I could be sleeping, but I'm here waiting for them. And what happens sometimes is there seems to be a lack of commitment on the part of the guest to show up. And um, and sometimes I actually just sit here and, uh, you know, I've been waiting for this person and they don't show. And that's really disappointing from a host perspective to share that with a guest that 
when you use a great service like Need, Need a Guest and you create this expectation that you're going to be there and show up, that you really do honor the host and hosts that you honor your guests. I think that's really important. You know, and and from somebody who has personally, I have missed an interview here or there, right? Like somehow I missed the the time zone got wrong on my calendar or I, you know, I double booked or I got distracted. Like I have made that mistake of missing a, a podcast interview and I'm hard, I'm devastated, right? When I do, because I know I can picture them sitting there on camera, everything ready to go. And they're waiting for me. And I just, I just no showed them. And I, and, but I, I think that it's important for us to take responsibility, yeah. right? You know, if we don't know about time zones, like what time is that? Put that in our calendar, set reminders, set alarms, you know, different things that'll help us to, to show up for each other. Because yeah, I think our most valuable asset is our time. Yeah. Right? You could be sleeping, you could be doing any other things. You held this spot for this person and vice versa as a guest, if, or as a host, right? If you've told a guest, you're going to interview them, like show up for, show up for each other. Um, but I also like, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt yeah. too, right. right? And extend a little bit of grace because I think I just saw this, this story about somebody following a car um, and they had a sign in the back that said, please be patient learning how to drive a, a stick shift, nice. right? Yeah. And he's like, well, because I saw that sign, I found myself giving them a little bit more grace and patience, a little bit more room. But most of us aren't walking around with signs that say, this is what I'm struggling with, right? right? My cat was just diagnosed. My mom is sick. My kids are this, right? You know, like we all, if if we had a sign saying what we were really dealing with, I think that we would all be a little bit kinder to to each other, but we don't have those signs. So it is necessary for us to extend some grace, you know, reach out. I'm sorry, did something happen? Yeah. <laughs> Can we reschedule? Um, Because I think at least inside the need a guest group, there is some accountability, right? They're inside the group. They know people <laughs> are are seeing their posts, seeing their connections, and hopefully there's some accountability. But I think at the heart that most people want to do the right thing yeah. and show up for each other, show up for an appointment that that they made. And if they didn't, if we can just extend some grace um, and just just we didn't read their sign of what they're dealing with. Yeah, and I've done it myself. I because I work nights, I set my alarm to the wrong AM or PM, you know. And I'm for sure. I wake up four hours later, come to my computer, and they're like, "Where are you?" I'm like, "Oh no, oh no, no! I just yeah. did. It. I did what happens to me. I did it to someone else." So, it, yeah, yeah. You just we're all humans, and we're kind of navigating this. So, but just keep in mind that you know there's somebody on the other end that's counting on you, hosts. There's guests counting on you to show up. Make sure you show up. You know, it goes both ways. It does. Right. It does. And um, so sorry that that, yeah, I mean, that's just, it is, it's kind of life. But I mean, I've, I've shown up at the airport, believe it or not, where I had the AM PM wrong on, on my flight. So I show up at night and my flight left 12 hours ago. I mean, I've, I've screwed up on that level. <laughs> And I'm embarrassed to say, David, it's happened to me more than once. There so. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. See, we're at, we're, yeah, that's great. What about things on Need a Guest where you're like, okay, everybody, if I could just have all of you sit down together for a second, I just want to share with you a few things about Need a Guest that you need a reminder on, on how we do no. things here, how we treat each other here. Is there anything that you can do to encourage us as a Need a Guest user that we can do better on, on Need a Guest? Yeah, I think number one, follow David Campbell because you <laughs> are a shining example. Um, I, I'm just a big, big believer of giver's gain, right? Like give first, come in and show up. Where do you add value? Where can you support? How can you encourage? Um, too often, I think sometimes we just kind of get in this space of what's in it for me, right? I'm going to come in, I'm going to do an email list grab, right? I'm going to, um, you know, hold back on what this really is. It's a sales pitch. It's not really an interview. In my world, when I say I need a guest, guests are free. Guests are invited. Um, guests are um, guests, are guests, right? If you need a client, that's different. If somebody's paying you, that's very different. And so if there is a fee, that's not needing a guest. <laughs> I think that's just the language isn't there. So um, you're looking for a client, you're in the wrong group. Mm -hmm. um, here we really are looking for people who are looking for, for guests for their podcasts who maybe need a speaker for their event. Um, and so 
you know, give first, come and be encouraging, come and endorse, come support. Um, and then, yeah, make sure that you're just not there for just the email list grab. Um, it's probably my, my, the icky, the icky that I, that I see a lot. Um, but honestly, the ones that are my favorite are somebody who's got a really clear description of what they're looking for or what they speak on and respond back to the comments below. I always say that marketing is starting a conversation. Yeah. Right? So if somebody comments, reply to them, respond. But I will see all of these posts where people are, you know, they have 20, 30, even more comments and no reply from the person who who posted the original the original post. Like, have a conversation. These are humans. Yeah. They're nice people. We don't bite. No. Right. Um, and and we are we are kind, right? We just and we're we, there's a diverse variety of shows. Like if you want it, we probably got it, right? I mean, there's such a variety of podcast shows and guests inside of the group, and so I think you'll find what you're looking for. But come with a come with an open heart to to give and support. Yeah. So when I click on and I look at my content on your page, there's like pending, published, declined with feedback, removed with feedback, and flagged. What are some of the things that get declined as a post on here that maybe we're doing wrong uh, that we just don't know we're doing wrong? Yeah. So we do have, because there's 33 yeah. plus thousand people in it, um, we do have some admin controls that are automated. So if you try to post a video, it will be automatically declined. Um, there's no videos. And again, that we're just trying to re reduce the spam. Um, inside of the group. So no videos. There are certain keywords that will will get a post declined. Um, uh, you know, somebody coming in and saying we're doing free logos, we're giving away all of our free stuff, right? Like, like those kinds yeah. like people take your money and you'll never hear from them again. So we do have some some keywords that get deleted. Um, and then of course, uh, Facebook also has its own things that they'll decline for copyright issues anything that goes against their community yeah. standards. So sometimes things get get removed and deleted. And it's not even us. It's community standards yeah. from from Facebook. But for, for us, it's videos. And if it happens to have a keyword um, or if you are selling on the back end or you're inviting somebody to another Facebook group. So don't come in here to poach to another yeah. Facebook group. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, what about like links? Like, for example, I have my calendar link. And when I have because I get so many great responses from your page, I go in and I go to their DM and I d directly d send them my calendar link so that they can actually respond to my post and I thank them and, and all that. But there's been times where I've had so many people respond to my post on, on Need a Guest that I actually get blocked from responding to these people one-on-one -on -one, and I can't even send them the calendar link. I have no way to send them. Yeah, the I don't know if you've ever noticed when we want to do a link, because Facebook will, there's a certain number, right? And it's like 22, right? If you send, and that number could change, yeah, right? Yeah. And in any day, and, and Facebook does what Facebook does. So um, if you post too many links, right? Whether that's even in a post or in um, the private message, it'll block you for an hour, three hours, 24 hours. You go to you go to their little jail. That's their rule. Yeah. So the way we get around that is we'll write out the URL www.nita guest and then we'll write the word dot dot okay. com so that somebody else and they're like can you just put the link in here i'm like i wish i could but we're responding to so many people so fast i'll get blocked if i put too many links in a row and that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah we do <laughs> and our community managers get blocked right like it happens all the time but and it's from links okay. and that's putting too many links you know because facebook they they want you on their site. Yeah. Anytime you put a link, you're taking them off of their site. Right. Makes sense. So so if you can play by the rules, the other thing that we do, David, is we'll make a like a graphic of um of sorry about that. Yeah. We'll make a graphic that that has the URL in the graphic, and so on a post you can comment. Right here's the here's the link to my calendar. And so if you have like a fun URL, yeah. Right. Bookwithdavid.com. Yeah. Right. And put it in a photo, put it in an image, and then you can reply with the image, okay. and they'll have the they'll have the yeah, link that makes there. Sense. That's great. I love that. So those are great tips because, again, we want people to connect. We want people to have a great experience on Need a Guest. So 
any of those things are helpful. What else What else is helpful for, for a new user? Brand new, first day on Need a Guest. They don't know anybody. They don't know what they're doing, um, but they need great guests. What, what's, your, what's your first, say, two or three tips for a brand new user on Need a Guest? Right. Um, so, of course, right, if you've got a good graphic about right, your thumbnail and you want to post that, we allow you to put the link to your show. Um, so that people know. But what's really interesting is what what people will respond to. Even like the like, I just need a guest on this one thing, right? If even vague posts can get incredibly, incredibly good value and good content. But as a as a host, my recommendation is to have some type of application or filter that people take the next action and try to automate this because you'll get a lot of responses. And so if you're sending a lot of personal DMs, you're emailing, it can be very time consuming. So have a quick and easy form. I mean, I have seen forms that take me 20 minutes to fill out and we'll move on because I'll fill out a 20 minute form after I've been approved, but I don't want to fill out a whole bunch of 20 minute forms just to see if I'll get approved, right? Um, Because I mean, that could be very time consuming too. So something really simple, right? You know, what do you speak on? And, you know, what do you bring to the table? What, where can I find more information about you? Something, you know, three or four questions will get get you really valuable information, filter out the right the right guests for yourself um, and get people to take action right? rather than just say, hey, me, right? And put the onus back on you. I think it's our responsibility as the guest to provide you with the content that we, that we share and can bring to your show. I love it. Now, we did have um, a... A situation happened recently with Facebook where it was down for a little bit. And I'm like, oh, no, I can't get to need a guest because I can't get on Facebook for whatever reason. That's the one scary part about using the platform. But you have something that also complements at needaguestdirectory.com. So talk to us about what that is and how that works with need a guest. What's the connection? Yes. So uh, with you, right, when you're relying on this platform that's not ours, that has its own set of rules that could go away and any day, um, we kind of put a safeguard for ourselves in place. And we have a directory called Need a Guest Directory that we encourage our hosts to put their shows in that directory. And then we use that internally. So I have access to all of those shows. Also, our clients have access to all of those shows. So if for some reason, the Facebook group goes down, they don't have access to it, they have 24-7 access to all of our really great podcast hosts who have added their show onto that directory. And it's free. We feel like if we can add value to podcast hosts, the more hosts that are in our in our network, the better value the group is, um, the better value we provide for our clients. And so we want, we're always out looking for new hosts. Um, so needaguestdirectory.com is where they can add their show. They give us the details about their show. And then we use that in-house um, to keep, to keep the to keep the show going, right? To keep to keep bringing you great guests every every single week. We want you to use the networking group for free, the community. We want you to add your show. We will promote your show um, to our email list, our newsletter. Um, when you first enter your your details into the into the directory, if it's a qualified show, um, and then we'll also promote it a couple times a year out to our to our clients as well to help give you free exposure, free subscribers, free listeners, and hopefully really great guests as well. Is there any way for podcasters who are monetized or have the ability to support need a guest that we can actually contribute and financially help support this? I never want to see this go away because I've got so much value. I feel as a podcast host, I want to give value back to you and your team. How do we do that? Is that even possible? You know, th- there's a couple things that that um, you could do, right? If you do have a group, uh, an email list, or a following, and just talk about need a guest and encourage people to that it that it exists. Um, number one, that would be the most helpful to us. If you know other podcasters. If you want to send an email out about need a guest, inviting your audience to to follow us, we would we would love that. Um, the group is free. We're just looking for for you know more boots on the ground to share to share this beautiful message. And then if there was something you know collaborative wise, we do a lot with email marketing. Even though we run this incredible Facebook group, 
our the way we grow our business is we do two interviews a week on somebody else's show and we send an email every day. So we do a lot with email marketing. And so there's some collaboration we do with our JV partners when it comes to to sending emails out um, on a, on each other's behalf, which is really, really awesome. So we can all spread the word. We can all help this grow. And we can help both the Facebook group, Need a Guest, and Need a Guest Directory.com. We can also be a part of that and help spread the word. That's what we can do for you. That's That would be that would be that would be over the moon for me. Okay, because we have a lot of listeners to the show, and they're always looking for ways to support amazing people who give, 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 like you're doing and your team is doing. So, uh, yeah, I'm thrilled that we can share more about Need a Guest with the audience, so that they can connect with you and be a part of this. Um, anything else, uh, Angel, that you're thinking about in the podcasting space that you're like, you, you have the listeners' ear right now. We have a bunch of podcasters at different stages. Any kind of words of encouragement or words of uh, that we can just kind of support and build up podcasters? What what are you seeing? What are you hearing in podcasting right now? You know, po- podcasting to me and what I am seeing is we are barely tip, tipping the iceberg on the potential of podcasts. Is even though there have been, you know, probably 4 million people have started a podcast, as far as active podcasters, you know, who are actually putting out fresh new content on a consistent basis weekly or even more than once a week is very rare. There's just not enough of us um, when you compare that to old school radio. So right now, if you have an idea for a show, there's an audience that is probably anxiously awaiting for you to start your own broadcast, right? And you can do it with the equipment you probably have access to, right? The microphone in your laptop, you know, from your phone, like you, you have the equipment in most cases to get started right away. If you've got access to the internet and a and a microphone that you can record yourself. So one, just know that there's an audience out there that is probably right now searching online, right? Podcast listener who's looking for a show that talks about X, right? Which talks about what you speak on. So if you have an idea, like start your own show. Um, I think we often worry that who's going to listen and, and, you know, does anybody want to hear this? And we beat ourselves up and we talk ourselves out of it. But I heard this story once it was uh, talking about how like at the end of our days, right, we're handed a box um, and not this, you know, beautiful box has our name on it, big ribbon, you know, beautiful box. And you open up the box um, and you, it's filled with little pieces of paper folded up into squares and you open up the box or you open up the first paper and you see a name and you don't recognize the name. So you another piece of paper, I read a name, I don't recognize that name. And you start unwrapping these papers and you don't recognize any of the names in this box. And so you hand it back, you're like, you gave me the wrong box. I don't know who any of these people are. Like, I don't know any of these people in my box. Those are the names of the people that you reached, that your story impacted, that you never got to meet. Mm -hmm. That's the value of being a podcast host and a podcast guest is we are filling our box full of names of people we will never meet, but that we will impact. And there are people every day looking for hope. They're looking for stories. They're looking to be entertained. Audio, like we have more time in our day to listen to audio than anything else. I can take it on the go. I can take it with me. I can press pause and pick it up later. It creates an evergreen platform for your story to get out. Somebody might not listen to this until next week, next month, next year, right. Right? but it, the story still resonates. Podcasting is one of the only platforms in media that has that kind of potential and that reach um, where people can take it on the go, download their favorite um, episodes and really connect with the with the host and the guest. And so the impact of podcasting is probably one of the greatest opportunities. And I believe, David, mm. it is mostly untapped. Yeah. I would agree with you a hundred percent. Yeah. I think th- people reach out to me. They're like, Dave, I think I'm too late to the game. I have this podcast idea, but there's so many podcasts and who's going to listen to me. Well, the one person who can create your podcast is you. I can't do your show. I'm not you. I have not learned what you've learned. I've been through those lessons. I don't know the people, you know, read the books you've read been to the schools you've been to. I, I'm i not you. So you're the only one that can do your show. So you're competing against yourself, really. So if you don't do your show, it's never going to happen. There might be a hundred yeah. shows that sound like your show or talk about your topic, but they're not you. So there's room for you. Yeah. So please. Yeah. There's lots of room. Uh, 
I love that. I absolutely love that. And people, I help authors publish their books and they're like, you know, there's already books on this subject, but it's your stories. Yeah. You know, just like you said, the books you've read, the experience, the walk that you've walked, that's what makes it unique. And that's why it has to be you because nobody else can do that. David, that was so inspiring. Yeah. And then my Living the Next Chapter podcast, my author podcast, I've had Hollywood actors, I've had musicians. I've had doctors and lawyers and um, men and women serving their country. I've had single parents. I've had children as young as five on my podcast, as old as 85 as adults. I've talked to the most amazing people. I've traveled the world from Tokyo to New Zealand to the UK all in one day, just with a microphone and a headset. It's amazing who you get to talk to. And I have the ability to couch surf the entire world. I have people like Dave. I live in California. Come on down. We'll take you to restaurants. I have a table seat in, in a in a restaurant in New York City. I can go anywhere. And there's people that are just like, I can't believe you're in my town. Come and see me. Like, just by doing this, it's real what? human interaction and connection. And that's what I love it about really... Need a Guest is you're helping us do that. So that's why I love your well... page. I'm so I'm so excited to have met you, right? The fact that we do have somebody who is using the group. You are a shining example of why we have the group. Um, our our goal is to support you, is to support podcasters. There's not a lot of space where they are, where podcasters can go and feel that support. Um, and we, but truly, if we can add value to you, you bring so much value to us. Um, and especially because you do have multiple shows and especially because you broadcast more than one one show a week. Like truly when I said you're my new BFF, I <laughs> I was not kidding. Um, uh, right. I got I'm gonna put Dave on my speed dial because I I just thank you. Thank you for being so productive and and and, and answering the call. Right. You got the idea. I mean, how many of times do we get an idea? Oh, I should start this, I should do this, and then we dismiss it. Yeah. But you took action, right? And so we are men of action. <laughs> we started the Facebook group out of taking action and decided to grow it and to maintain it, taking action, right? We cannot steer a parked car. So just start. It doesn't have to be perfect. Something is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and and I love, uh, you know, it, and follow David, right? Follow his example. Take his lessons. Do what he's learned, right? Take what it... And, you know, get yourself surrounded in a community that will support you, that will guide you, that will minister you to you, to mentor you, um, give you the wings to, to you know, the air beneath your wings mm -hmm. to fly because it's the only thing, yeah, the only thing stopping you is it's, you know, that stupid little voice in your head that says you shouldn't because yeah. there's nothing, there's no other reason not to. I love it. So we'll have links to Facebook groups so you can go there right away and sign up. Make sure you get on there, everyone. Come on. Um, it's a private group, so you got to like do all the things to get in. But once you're in, you'd be surrounded with like 34,000 people who are amazing. So that's good. And then you also have to go to needaguestdirectory.com as well and connect with, with Angel and her team over there as well. Uh, anywhere else that you want to send people, Angel, besides those two spots? Those are my favorite, right? The Facebook group, it's absolutely free. If you've got a show, the directory, needaguestdirectory.com. We also, we do have a three-part episode training if people want to know how we use it, the, the Facebook group, how we monetize being a guest for business. Um, if you go to needaguest.com, they can get access to that, that three-episode series that Jamie and I recorded. And all of that, yeah, it's just free so we can be here to to support you in your growth. I love it. Angel, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. And away from the group, you got a lot, like so many things you need to go back to now in the group as well and your team. So thank you for making time to be on the How to Podcast series. Thank you for inviting me, David. This was a pleasure. Awesome. Hey, thanks for being here on the How to Podcast series. Glad to have you on the show with us listening in. I hope they're finding value in the podcast. I hope you're finding something that helps you with your show, helps you with the tools and the information from these amazing guest co-hosts through our daily Daves and these solo episodes. The variety of what we're doing here on the podcast is all designed for you so that you can get the tools you need to create your podcast and keep going with your show. That's why we're here. That's why I'm doing this. And I'm glad you're here finding value in this. If you would like to do a little bit more than just be a listener, if you want to do community with podcasters, we have a thing called our meetup on meetup.com. 
you can come find us and there'll be a link on our website at howtopodcast.ca and you can come and join in on our meetup. Instead of just being a, a listener, you could actually participate and come in and join other podcasters, just like you, at your stage, at your level, where you're at right, right now. And then other podcasters who are maybe a little further down the road who can learn from you and you can learn from them. And we host these meetups on a regular basis. Again, go to howtopodcast.ca and you'll find all the information there. We'd love for you to come join us at our next meetup. The only thing we need at our next meetup is you. You're the only thing missing from all of this. So consider joining our meetups. Again, they're totally free on a regular basis, all through howtopodcast.ca. And I'd love to hear more from you about your podcast as well. There's a speak pipe link on howtopodcast.ca. Leave a message. I'd love to hear about you and your show and how we can work together to get your message into the world. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And thank you for sharing the show with another podcaster that you're like, hey, I think you'd really like this episode. Go ahead, share the episode, and let's get more podcasters on the mic. Thanks for listening.